In this video, we're going to rebuild the front master cylinder. In the next video, we will rebuild the rear master cylinder. Let's get started. There's the circle clip. We're going to take that one off. And now we can very gently remove the piston. But first, let's take off the other circle clip there's the second circle clip and now we can remove the the elbow fitting where the uh, brake fluid reservoir connects to and it looks pretty cruddy down in there so it's a good thing we're going to be uh, cleaning this okay let's go get a small screwdriver and that way we can very gently pry the piston out Here's the piston. We're gently going to pry that piston out. And as you can see, there's some uh, rubber boots at each end of that piston. And uh, there's also a spring in here. And another little piston. We're going to remove those. And then if you look down inside, there's the cylinder wall for the piston. We're going to stick our finger down in there and we're going to feel for any scoring on that cylinder wall. Boy, that's really cruddy. Okay, now we're going to... Uh, remove this. You, if you're using brake cleaner, you don't want to get any brake cleaner on any rubber or plastic parts. It will dissolve it. So we're going to remove the... Uh, there's a... Uh, looks like a micro switch right here. We're going to remove that. And uh, there's an O-ring in here it looks like. Yep, there's an O-ring right there. So we're going to remove that. Oh yeah, there's a lot of crud in there, so it's a good thing we're cleaning this. Okay, we need to go get a cross-point screwdriver. Take, we're going to completely disassemble this, and then we're going to use a non-chlorinated brake clean, brake parts cleaner. Uh, when you're doing your master cylinder and your brake calipers, do not use any petroleum-based solvents on any of the brake parts, it's not recommended by the manufacturer. Okay, there's a one cross point screw right there, and we're going to loosen that, take out the screw. Okay, put that. Always get yourself a little container to put your parts in. And then we're going to gently remove that micro switch. Okay, it fits. There's a little dimple in there that fits just like that. We're going to put that in our container. And now we're going to remove the bleeding screw. And then we're going to start cleaning. Okay, we have an 8 millimeter socket. We can now remove the bleeding screw. Okay. We are now completely disassembled. Okay, we're going to take some brake cleaner now. And we're going to start cleaning up the parts. 
Okay, and then we will put these in the container. Try to work in a open air environment. This brake cleaner is really nasty. And we're just going to go through and try to clean up all the parts. Try to get in and get all the little orifices cleaned out. Don't get any of this stuff in your eyes. It will not be good for you. And we're just trying to take a corner of a paper towel and run some cleaner down inside the uh, bleeding line. Pull that out, make sure there's no crud in there. That's looking pretty clean now. So now we can open up the uh, the overall kit and start replacing o-ring springs and the replacement parts for the front master cylinder. The uh, parts that we received we got from All Balls Racing and uh, it's really a nice overhaul kit. Piston seals, you get the o-ring, you get new circle clips, you get new uh, looks like copper washers for around the brake line and uh, you get a new spring. You even get a new boot uh, for the end that goes on to the, uh, the little ball end here that goes into the piston cap. So that's really nice. Really nice overhaul kit. Let's go ahead now and uh, put the overhaul kit in. What I've done is I've gone online and uh, suzukiparts.com there's an exploded diagram so even though I do have the Haynes manual I can go through at a glance and see what parts that we have and uh, where they go and I can match this to the, uh, the Haynes manual uh, printout of where all the parts go and what parts need to go where so we're going to remove the uh, the dust, the old dust cap, and get rid of that. We have the uh, new dust cap. Let's go ahead and uh, put that on here, and snaps right in. Really nice. Okay, let's get the uh, the seals for the piston. Notice we have a a small small um, boot here at the bottom and we have the larger boot rubber boot at the top so we have uh, two here here we have the larger one and the smaller one so let's go ahead and put those on And don't go pulling your the boots off till you get them ready because you want to make sure that you put these on. 
in the proper order in the proper way because if you don't put them on the on the proper way here with the taper as shown on the old piston you're going to have leaks and you don't want that so you want to make sure that you put them with the taper going the proper way on the piston and as you can see we have a small one and we have the large one the large one goes up near the top the small one goes on the bottom there's the small one that's on the bottom and let's wipe our piston here And again, you want the taper pointing toward the bottom of the piston. There's the small portion on. Let's go ahead and pull the the large boot off now. And we took the, the larger one off. And let's get the larger. And again, make sure the taper is pointing toward the, the bottom. And we're going to get a little bit of brake fluid. Put a little bit of brake fluid on here to make it slide on easier because it's rather stiff. And let's put some brake fluid on that rubber boot put some around the piston here putting that on was really tough what i had to do was uh, put the the boot on a set of uh, snap ring pliers and then squeeze them and then fish that over the top and got that on so i did that off camera that was uh, really tough and required quite a bit of swear words to get on so we have that on now we can continue with the uh, with the uh, overhaul and now we have the spring the new spring really nice they give you all new parts for the master cylinder let's get the spring and we can put the spring on the little pivot pin here and uh, then that pin is going to go with the point toward the bottom of the cylinder and we're going to take some brake fluid and we're going to rub our finger in there to get some brake fluid on there. We want this to be well lubricated when we put this together. And now we're going to take and we're going to put that on inside there. And then we're going to take the piston and we're going to feed that over. We put some brake fluid on there. So you see now we have the new piston with the new rubber boots, the new spring, and that's now been assembled there. Now what we can do is push the piston down inside and then we can put the, the circle clip on. tell there's two circle clips there's one with two little notched pins and there's one without the notched pins the ones with the little pins in there go with the piston the other one is for the uh, 
the reservoir tube circle clip. By compressing the circle clip, pushing it in and the piston, we've been able to get that mounted now. So now what we can do is flip this over to the side and there's a o-ring that goes now on this side and then that's where the brake reservoir tubing connect goes so we're now going to take that we're going to double check our brake down here we have the we have the o-ring we have the uh, brake reservoir 90 degree tubing and we have the circle clip so we're going to take and we're going to put a little bit of brake fluid around the o-ring and we're going to put the o-ring inside and make sure that o-ring is seated properly on the ridge there then we're going to get our 90 degree elbow and we're going to put that in there and then we're going to get that seated in there and then we'll put the circle clip on I'm going to try to push this uh, connector down inside off camera here probably going to take s several hands we have the uh, elbow now seated on top of the o-ring we're now going to hold that snap ring or circle clip squeeze that down and now try to seat that circle clip which we did so now the circle clip and the 90 degree elbow for the brake reservoir is in okay. now we can get the brake bleeding screw and we can insert that back in okay that's it we now have the uh, brake line bolt and it's sort of cruddy so we're going to take a wire brush and clean the crud off of that and then in the new overhaul kit they gave us two copper washers so when we get ready to mount the brake line onto the master cylinder we'll have that so in the time being we're just going to screw that that brake line bolt right in there okay and it looks like now what we have to do is we have to get the new boot and we're going to take the new boot and we're going to install it right there and we're going to get our little screwdriver and just take and very gently seat that rubber boot around the inside of that cylinder wall okay and we're able to operate the uh, piston so there the front master cylinder 
has been rebuilt. Uh, and then when we go ahead and uh, install the master cylinder and the calipers, we can then properly bleed the brake lines. Let's go ahead and get on to rebuilding the, uh, the rear master cylinder now.